Once upon a time, there was a boy, I mean, 30-year-old man, who loved shiny Pokemon. He walked out to his mailbox on a cold winter day and opened the mail to find just one letter. From Santa Claus. Dear Philly Beats You, if you can catch all these holiday-themed Pokemon before I arrive, you'll get a gift. But here's the problem. I did not know when Santa is going to arrive, so I better start on this list right away. I ran inside my house to my gaming setup and went for the first hunt on the list. The iconic Deli Bird. This made perfect sense since it carried around a Santa bag and has a move called Present. For this hunt, I'd have to make my way to Paudea's highest peak. The trick to getting a bunch of these Deli Birds to show up is to make a shiny flying sandwich. As soon as I made it, tons of them started to spawn. Look at them just running around with gifts. They honestly feel like Santa's little helpers. Now spotting the shiny won't be too hard because the color is purple. So I did a couple of picnic resets which despawns the hordes of this Pokemon and then when you put it away it spawns in with a bunch of new ones which should make this hunt pretty easy, right? Okay, well maybe this wasn't as easy as I thought. It actually should have showed up by now. So to increase my shiny luck I had to figure something out and then I took a train to New York City and looked around the Hudson Yard Mall, which was decorated with tons of Christmas lights. I then spotted the mall Santa Claus and sat next to him and asked him to give me a shiny deli bird. And I don't know if I pushed my luck with him, but I also asked if I could have more subscribers. And here's what Santa Claus actually had to say. Oh, oh, oh. After I got back home, I got right back to work with Picnic resetting for Deli Bird. Reset after reset with the full hope that Mall Santa and you subscribing would show me luck and then BAM! It was right there! Shiny Deli Bird was in front of me. I made my way over to it and caught it in a nice premiere ball, knocking off the first Pokemon on Santa's list. Now that I caught it, was anything going to happen? And no updates from Senna on his arrival yet. Maybe I need to catch another shiny Pokemon on the list. Delibird represented gifts, so those gifts need a place to go under a tree. Which is why we're going to Glaciato Mountains to get ourselves the next Pokemon, Snover. I personally like to go to this exact spot on the mountain in order to find it because it has such a nice view. Now to increase the amount of spawns that show up for Snover, we're going to have to eat a shiny grass sandwich. Because of this, you can see the amount of Snover that shows up, and it's quite a bit more. Luckily, the shiny version of Snover has a blue color to it instead of its typical green. For this hunt, I wanted to run around the area to despawn the Pokemon while spawning in new Pokemon. But while doing this, if you go too fast, you may accidentally despawn a shiny, so I had to be very careful. I kept this up for a while without any shiny Pokemon showing up, so I had to figure out how to increase my luck in real life. Snover is known as the Frosted Tree Pokemon, so I immediately had an idea. Why not head over to the Rockefeller Center in New York City? Why you may ask? Because one of the biggest Christmas trees ever is located right over there. While I was there, I looked up at the tree and this was truly one of the most perfect and magical moments I could have hoped for. And all I could see was a giant Snover while I looked at the tree. After that, it was now time to go back to the hunt. Now that my shiny luck increased, I made my way back to the Glaciato Mountains and started spawning in the Snover. I kept going and going until finally, there it was. And the best part is that it's even snowing. What a magical way to see Snover. It's like a Christmas miracle. I looked through my Pokeballs to decide which one would match it, so I went with the dive ball to catch it. But isn't there something that you can also put on trees? Like pine cones. There's just something about pine cones that scream holiday season because you can always find them on wreaths and on garlands and the smell just makes me feel all comfy at home and luckily for us pokemon put a pine cone in the game called pineco now usually these pine cones are found in trees making them really annoying and hard to hunt however there is a trick known as the date or time skipping method that is super overpowered you first pop this sandwich of your choice in this case it's going to be the bug type sandwich and then after you get your buffs you go to the setting on your Nintendo Switch and you can skip a date or go up a minute. Whatever you really want to do, it's up to you. It's your game. And you'll notice the mass outbreaks on your map just magically change. I pretty much did this until I got a Pineco mass outbreak in the East Province Area 3 to show up. Isn't this so much better than hitting a tree over and over again until a shiny appears? I think so. Now, as you can see, we have so many in front of us. Luckily for us, we are looking for the Golden Pinecone. Now, for mass outbreaks, to maximize your shiny chances, you have to 
to knock out 60 Pokemon and then start to do a picnic reset. So I began knocking out some Pineco and while knocking them out, I was thinking about how to maximize the IRL shiny luck to get one. Hi, babe, are you shopping right now? Yeah. I have a few items I need you to pick up for me. Welcome to Philly Craft Shield. We're gonna be making our own pine cone using this giant pine cone. So step one, you wanna go ahead and spray paint this entire pine cone. Look at that technique, beautiful. Once it's all nice and not really dry, but you know, semi-dry, you're gonna get your two googly eyes, you're gonna get your glue, and you're gonna put that right on there, just like that. So I'm gonna take this eyeball, and I'm gonna, there's one, ta-da! And just like that, we've made our Walmart Pineco. I'm gonna call him Piney. I brought Piney with me and continued to knock out more Pinecos. And luck was on my side because before I even knocked out 60 of them, a shiny Pineco showed up. But here's the problem. You have to be careful because it can explode. So I had to put it to sleep with hypnosis that only had a 70% chance. Would it work? I pressed the move and it fell asleep. I then threw my Ultra Ball at it, but it could break out. I watched the ball shake fall to the floor and then i caught it with pineco out the way it was time to move on to the next hunt and i have to ask the question what is christmas without snow and luckily for us we have a pokemon that embodies the snowflake itself cryogonal the next pokemon on santa's shiny hunting list this pokemon is located close to the glaciado gym along the side of paudea's highest peak i ate an ice sandwich to start this hunt however the amount of them that spawn wasn't too much not having a bunch of snowflakes spawn in a snowy biome is definitely a problem so i had to do the mass outbreak trick to get them to show up but before that welcome back to philly crafts you today we are creating our very own homemade cryogonal or the walmart cryogonal take a piece of paper and cut it into a square by folding it over here then fold the triangle then fold it again for another triangle and then just fold it again into another triangle then what you want to do is get your scissors and just start chopping on the sides of it for whatever design you want to make open it up and bam you have your own snowflake then slap some googly eyes on it and you got yourself a walmart cryogonal i'm actually gonna call him ed this is ed the cryogonal comment snowflake emojis down below to show ed some love seriously he needs love after creating my good luck charm it was now time to hit the mass outbreak. Now, while we're knocking out Pokemon in this mass outbreak, let me tell you how to identify the correct shiny snowflake. You have to look for the one with orange eyes and the blue snowflake color is gonna be much more saturated like this. And after knocking out a couple of them, it finally happened. The unique snowflake, just like Ed, showed up. I ran over to it and caught it in a dive ball. And with that, another Pokemon was checked off Santa's list. But how long exactly was it gonna be till Santa arrived? Was he coming by reindeer maybe that's why the next shiny hunt on santa's list was stantler now this location to hunt this is between two sort of biomes with the main part of paudea the starting area and the canyon area so right in between there for this hunt i'm going to be using a normal sandwich unfortunately there are other pokemon that show up in the area like litleo it got to the point where i actually found a shiny one amongst all the stantlers that started to spawn in the area while i was hunting that but that wasn't exactly the target Target, and I couldn't stop there to admire the Christmas lion. I had to keep looking, but there was no green reindeer in sight. And here's where things got even worse. While I was picnic resetting, my hand just started going into auto mode. And just like that, I skipped a shiny Stantler. I was devastated and felt like I could never do this. So in order to get one to spawn, I once again had to enhance my IRL shiny luck. I looked on Google to see if there were any reindeer close by to me, but there was nothing. So I had one victim that I could turn into a reindeer. Huh? My dog, Travis. So I went to Amazon and bought my dog some reindeer ears and this really cool outfit that has a Santa that rides on his back. I put the outfit on my dog and just like that i have now turned him into a reindeer for shiny luck right after this i went back to shiny hunting and then there it was i took off my hand from autopilot mode so i wouldn't end up despawning it out like the last time i focused on the green deer and ran to it and threw a friend ball at it which i only had one of and i got it and with that the shiny reindeer hunt was over but i remember that when i hung out with the mall santa that he was shaking some bells on him so this next hunt made 
makes so much sense. Chingling. Now, in order to find Chingling, you have to head over to Kitakami in the Teal Mask DLC. I ate a psychic sandwich and went over to the Crystal Pool and Inferno Pass area to look for them. However, there were Bruh. stupid spoink that kept showing up, making it hard to actually hunt down my target. So I did the mass outbreak method to get them to spawn, and I began looking for them by knocking them out. Now, the shiny for this one is rough because it's slightly different in the ribbon around it. So you really gotta look carefully to avoid making errors when you are hunting this down. So to not even make an error like my last hunt, I went into my attic and immediately enhanced my shiny luck by grabbing some bells that I found up there. As soon as I got them, I immediately headed back down to my office and went and put them on my tree to enhance the good luck. By the way, let me know how you would make your own homemade chingling in the comments down below. Back to hunting. I kept knocking out every single chingling until I reached the max amount of 60 and then started to do my picnic resets. So at this point, I had to be really careful to not miss it. With time running out from doing the picnic resets over and over, I had to make sure I would spot it in time. And then with 28 seconds left, there it was. I had to double check just in case the sun or any of the environments or the shading were to confuse me. But when I looked and it was good, it was exactly that special jingle bell that always looks so happy. The shiny chingling was finally mine. Without wasting any more time, I threw a premiere ball at it and that was another Pokemon off of Santa's list. However, there was a strange Pokemon still on the list. Iron Bundle? The Paradox version of Delibird? What did this mean? What could symbolize this? Was this supposed to be the future of Christmas? I had no idea what to use in real life to help enhance my luck, so while I was in New York City, I found these giant metal Christmas ornaments that looked like what Iron Bundle is holding, except it's red, but you can just imagine what it would look like in blue. I reached out my hand to get all the good luck from it and now it's time to hunt to get this pokemon we have to head to area zero but for this hunt i had to switch my nintendo switch because this one had pokemon violet on it and iron bundle is a pokemon violet exclusive only now to get to this pokemon we have to head to the lowest floor in area zero which is research station number four but before you go in there you have to make sure that you eat an ice sandwich outside of area zero because you can't make any picnics inside of here and and it'll be the only Pokemon that'll spawn here. I personally like flying over right from the fourth research station down this way until you land on this crystal, which faces this other crystal. And when you approach it, a bunch of iron bundle start to show up. Literally, as I walk up to it, you see how they all spawn in? And then you can run back and they all despawn again. There are a lot of spawns here. And look at this. There's a bunch of them that are falling off on the right side. Hopefully, the shiny doesn't spawn here and fall to its death because that would be very unlikely unlucky and i've already been unlucky in this video so i kept walking back and forth on that location over and over again new spawns after new spawns kept showing up while the other iron bundles kept falling down this was all that was left on santa's list and i had to get this before he showed up and then before i knew it the shiny iron bundle appeared it's completely desaturated from the other ones and personally not my favorite shiny but i made my way over to it as fast as i could but before selecting what pokemon ball I wanted to use, I really wanted to reflect on this journey. Not only did this hunt make me catch some amazing shiny Pokemon, but I actually got to touch grass and enjoy some real moments. Being able to see the Rockefeller Christmas tree, having romantic moments with my wife, exploring the festivities in New York City, and being able to try my hand at arts and crafts after many years of not doing this. I was so excited to see what gift I would get from Santa, so I had to throw the quick ball to catch this Pokemon. And with that off the list, I just had to wait for Santa to show up. I waited for hours for him to show up, but nothing. Unfortunately, he didn't show up, so I decided to fall asleep. But what Philly didn't know is that night when he went to sleep, there was Christmas magic in the air. <laughs> 